can you really get meat allergy? Well, today we're going to talk about a really weird mystery meat allergy problem that we're having. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Micah Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist. And today we're going to be talking about something really weird. It's a mysterious case of a meat allergy. Did you know that you can even get meat allergies in the first place? I didn't know either until I came upon this case. There was a 35 year old male that came to the ER with difficulty breathing after eating red meat at a barbecue restaurant. He said that he's been having episodes of hives, itching, and runny nose after eating meat in the past couple years. However, he noticed that he got better after taking antihistamines and his symptoms were resolved over time. When asked whether any of his family members had these problems, the patient denied that he had any family history of this. And that before, when he had these symptoms, his itching and his runny nose would be manageable. But this time he came to the ER because he had more severe symptoms, which include the shortness of breath. Upon entering the ER, he was given IV fluids because he was getting dehydrated at the same time. He was given antihistamines and steroids to minimize his reaction. He said his symptoms were consistent with his previous allergic attacks because not only was he coming with shortness of breath this time, but he was having the itching and the hives and the runny nose at the same time. He did tell the doctors that he did have these symptoms before, but this time it was much more severe. Based on these clinical symptoms, the doctors were thinking about something called alpha-gal syndrome. So they ran labs for alpha-gal syndrome, which included alpha-gal IgE antibodies. And not to the surprise of the doctors, it actually came up positive. So how do you even get alpha-gal syndrome in the first place? Well, it usually starts with a tick bite, specifically from the Lone Star Tick. When the doctors asked the patient whether he's been bit by a tick before, the patient absolutely denied that he had any tick bites. But lab work did reveal antibodies to alpha-gal and something called eosinophils, which are your allergic immune cells, went up as well. So he was truly experiencing a alpha-gal syndrome attack. With the steroids and the antihistamines, the patient eventually got better and his shortness of breath did resolve. And he eventually went home as well, knowing that he has a new diagnosis called alpha-gal syndrome. What's unique about alpha-gal syndrome is that symptoms can happen three to six hours after ingesting meat, whereas other patients with flu allergies get the attacks quite immediate. What is alpha-gal in the first place? Well, alpha-gal is a sugar molecule that can be found in mammals and especially in red meat. Because this patient has alpha-gal syndrome, he now has to avoid beef, pork, and anything that is red meat related, unfortunately. And the treatment for this is pretty much avoidance of red meat. There is no perfect medication we have right now. Of course, if he ate red meat, he can take antihistamines and some steroids to relieve his symptoms, but that's not the ideal situation. This patient's lucky to be alive because he went to the ER with shortness of breath. Had he not gone to the ER, his airways could have closed up and he could have died from this allergic attack. Now, ticks are all over the US and we need to try to avoid any tick bites if possible. There are so many different types of ticks out there and of course, you probably have all have heard of Lyme disease which can cause debilitating symptoms as well. So next time you go out to a woody area, try to wear long pants, long sleeves, and a hat to try to avoid these ticks. So I wanna hear from you. Have you seen alpha-gal syndrome before? And have you heard of this before this video? So please comment below, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna hear more content just like this. And don't forget to watch my next video if you want to learn more about integrative medicine and autoimmune diseases. See you next time.